You're about to meet the medium celebrities turn to when they want to communicate with the dead. She makes some bold claims, but it's big business being the spirit interpreter to the stars. So on this Halloween night, we decided to put her on the spot. Can she work her magic for us? Beware, she tapped into some surprising secrets. Celebrities like Vanessa Williams and Billy Ray Cyrus come to Kim Russo believing she can speak to the dead. There's something freakishly going on in here. On her reality show, The Haunting Up, now airing on the Lifetime Movie Network. I was genuinely freaked out by what had happened. Stars share their encounters with the paranormal and ask Russo to explain the unexplainable. Hold on, let me see what I get. We need to get out of here. Whoa! She's part of a growing sorority of celebrity mediums, including that other famous psychic from Long Island. Did she pass tragically? Yeah, I'm the youngest Jonestown survivor. But how much of this is real? Is Russo just a really good reader of body language and verbal clues? Or can she really see dead people? In the spirit of Halloween, we decided to put the celebrity medium to the test. We asked her to meet us at the most haunted spot in New York City, Central Park's picturesque pond, long rumored to be the site of hauntings. Witnesses swear that on cold winter nights, you can see women in Victorian dress walking along the water, even ice skating when the pond freezes over. I sense something out here. Right away, Russo feels a presence. There was a battle here. The soldier is kind of still thinks he's in battle. And I see the sad bride. They need to go to the light. But we had our doubts, and we didn't spot any lonely brides or wayward men in uniform, but we took her word for it. But then things got a little weird. Say, say it again. Battery. It was a fully charged battery. Russo warned us her highly charged presence can sometimes affect tech equipment. Told ya. Our producer's full battery went dead in the middle of the interview. And I'm getting RF hit. And then static. I, I, Our I audio gone. Really? Random interference or something more sinister? When you're around, the mics don't work? The spirit world interferes with the frequencies that are here. Uh -huh. and, they, and they run on a frequency, too. Uh -huh. What's so the proper title for you? I don't like to call myself a psychic. I will say I am a medium. I'm a, I am a channel. And I am a vessel for whatever messages want to filter through me. How does it work? Uh, I work off of your energy, and I also work off of the energy that's in the atmosphere, meaning just like a cell phone picks up the cell signals from the cell towers and the radio picks up the radio waves, I pick sp up spirit waves. For the long line of people who say, oh, come on, this can't possibly... I am one of those skeptics. If I didn't do this work myself, I don't know that I would believe it. I do, however, believe people have gifts. But there are some things she won't subscribe to. Is this you, Debbie? Like the Ouija board, the subject of countless horror movies, including one that just came out this week. I think we should get out of here. <laughs> would you touch the board? I will touch the board. It doesn't mean anything to me. Okay. But I would never call a spirit through the board. This board attracts the low vibration energies, uh -huh. which can be evil. This is opening a portal that you cannot close. Okay, you're scaring me now. Yeah, you should put it down. And know this, a few minutes with their master medium doesn't come cheap. A good, reputable medium charges anywhere from $200 a session for an hour, and these are the most sought after mediums. Some of them are extremely ridiculous. They could charge up to 1500 We decided to take a stroll through the park when we came across this couple dressed up for Halloween. Do you believe in ghosts? We learned they're visiting from Ohio, and our chat quickly turned into an impromptu reading. Nina, who's Anna? Annie. Oh, uh, Susu's mom. How does she connect to you? Because, like, there's a uh, name. actually staying with his um, aunt-in-law. You have to hand it to Russo. She hits on key details, surprising the young woman. I have an uncle that I didn't get to say goodbye to, and he died of brain cancer. You weren't supposed to say goodbye to him. And you know what the other side tells me? There are no goodbyes, ever, because you'll, you'll see him again. We spoke to the couple after the reading, and they were visibly shaken. Um, that was insanely accurate, and I'm kind of teary, and I don't know why. <laughs> and it's this heady combination of spirit and sympathy that's built Russo a solid fan base. There was a lady that, I will tell you, did greet me when I pulled up, and she was with me in the car. 
Also doesn't hurt that the country is obsessed with all things paranormal. I see dead people. TV shows and movies depicting psychics communicating with the dead has contributed to its popularity. Oh, what the Did you see that? What was that? According to a 2005 Gallup poll, three in four Americans believe in the paranormal. The most popular is extrasensory perception, followed by belief in haunted houses and ghosts and spirits that return from the dead. I am not afraid, but I am skeptical, yes? That's okay. So when Russo offered to contact my mother, who passed away three years ago, I took it with a grain of salt. I'll tell you what I heard. It could be your mother saying this. I have to wait a minute or two. You have Uncle Jimmy? Uncle James? No. I say yes. She got many things yes. wrong, like what my children look like. I just see one thinner and one is regular or a little maybe heftier. I'm looking at body type. Both, no, both are pretty fit. Personal details. You didn't lose a baby? No. Like a miscarriage or no, something? No, no, All right. But sometimes she got close. Do you have one sister? Mm -hmm. Is her name like Sheila or Sha, Sha, Sha? I keep hearing Sha. Sha, Sha a weird name? Oh, really? Her name is Sandra. And sometimes, right on the nose. Your mother, is it true that she helped raise somebody else's daughter? Hmm, okay, sure, yes, true. She has another sister, what's your other sister's name? All right, give me a minute, okay? Diane. Is it? It is. I was surprised that she got the names right. That's what she said. But on a hunch, I decided to Google myself, and there it was, my mom's obituary. In it, Aunt Diane's name, among other details. Hmm. Russo denies Googling me before our interview. So whether one believes in the paranormal or not, it's something to think about.